What's up guys, what's up Tova7 here, bringing you an unboxing, review and range test of the Nerf Mega Mastodon. The Mastodon is an incredibly huge, fully automatic Mega Blaster within the Mega Series. I'll jump straight onto a range test now. Before we jump onto the range test, I want to note out that this is the grey triggered version because in the UK we get grey triggered Mega Blasters, but orange triggered Rival and Elite Blasters. It just confuses me. But, anyways, we'll get onto the range test. Okay, onto the range test. I'm just gonna shoot all 24 shots flat in full auto. So, here we go. Okay, let's go see the range. So we got the lowest three shots here at 25 feet. Got a large grouping here at 29 to 30 feet. Full more here at 32 feet. The main grouping is here at 36 feet. Two more are here at 38 feet. And the top shot is at 41 feet. So not great range with the Mastodon in comparison to other grey triggered Mega Blasters I own. Uh, they're getting better than this. They're getting at least 50 feet. Uh, orange triggered ones, um, from my knowledge, looking at uh, range test videos on them, they're getting about 50 feet flat. So about like 9 to 10 feet difference. So a big drop in range with the grey triggered. But we'll get into a review of the Mastodon now. On to the review of the Mastodon, starting with the function of the blaster. To function the blaster, you just load the darts into this 24 drum here. Then, it's like any other flywheel blaster, you hold down the acceleration trigger and then pull the main trigger to fire. Of course you can single fire the blaster just by tapping the trigger. What's really neat about this, it comes with a strap so you can hold it like a mini gun and it's proven very useful for this review here as I don't have to hold it, I can just let it sling on my side here. There's also a carry handle on the top so you can still go for that mini gun action. The hand at the back looks very small compared to the rest of the blaster, but it's one of them handles where it's small but very comfortable at the same time. It's got three tactical rails, two on the top and one on the bottom, so scopes and a grip. This large part here means you can grab it and use that as a grip as well if you want to hold it more shouldered. Colour scheme is classic mega. Red with black, orange and grey and white and then a huge mega logo. I really like this one because it's more 3D and out there. Mastodon is a very fitting name because the Mastodon is a prehistoric mammoth-like creature, which were huge of course, and this is just a huge blaster, so it's a very fitting name. For a size comparison, here is a Rhino Fire. As you can see, they're around the same length, but the Mastodon is just so much more bulkier and so much fatter. This is the biggest blaster I have to compare it to. So that's going over all the features, I'll show you it firing now. Pros and cons of the Mastodon, starting with the pros. It's a really fun blaster. It's just shooting mega darts in full auto is just bags of fun. It's really comfortable having a sling, this handle, and the grip here, it just makes it a very comfortable blaster. The drum spins really loosely, so it makes reloading quite fast, even though there's 24 darts. There's tack rails and sling mounts, and it even comes with its own sling. That's it for the pros, now onto the cons. Even for a grey triggered mega blaster, the range is not that nice. Um, I own a grey triggered Magnus, Centurion and Double Breach and they all get better range than this. Of course the price is a really big con of this. Uh, 
I believe the uh, selling price is £90 and $90. I was lucky enough to pick this up for £60, which is still very expensive, but cheaper than the original price. And I believe before Christmas, Argos in the UK was selling this for £45, and I'm very annoyed that I did not pick it up then. But, very expensive blaster. In addition to the blaster being expensive, you've got to purchase, uh, I believe, six of the D batteries, which are very big and very expensive. So overall, would I recommend the Mastodon? Honestly, I would. I love this blaster. Full auto mega darts is so fun. Uh, the range isn't great, but it's not terrible either. And even though it's really expensive, totally worth the price. It may not be practical, but it's just heaps of fun. But anyways, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.